how's it going? It's Catherine from Dryer Days Art Studio. Thanks so much for being with me today. Okay, so it is St. Patrick's Day. It is in the evening and I have been out all day running errands and doing stuff and I wanted to get in before the craziness of the evening and everybody out and I'm wearing green and I saw a bunch of people wearing green and I just really wanted to do a green pour today. I haven't done a video in about a week. I've had family in town and I've been really busy. So I wanted to get into the studio tonight, even though it's kind of late, I really had an itch to make a painting. So I hope you guys like this one. I am just gonna do a standard uh, dirty flip cup pour tonight. And as you can see, I have my array of greens here. Of course, I'm gonna use titanium white. Then I have a green yellow, which I used a tiny bit that I had left of my basics and the rest is of the Artist Lofts paint. And I have a light green permanent right here. And this darker green is a phaleokinine green. Sorry, it's hard to say. It's a big long word that starts with a PH and they're all basics except for that Artist Loft green. I do have these mixed with my pouring medium and water to consistency. And you can find my pouring medium recipe uh, and the video of how to make it in the description below and all of the products that I'm using in this video you can find in the description below as well. I'm going to use a 10 by 10 canvas. I found a small shop on eBay that sells pure dimethicone silicone for cosmetic purposes so you can put it in lotions, uh, face creams, things like that and you can buy it as straight up 100% dimethicone silicone and it was pretty inexpensive so I put it in my tie-dye bottle here so that I can easily uh, put it in and the technique that I'm going to use today is I'm going to put a little bit of paint in a couple drops of silicone a little bit of paint in a couple drops of silicone so I'm not putting it in my paint cups at all so I'm going to start with my white I hope you're all well out there and that you had a nice St. Patty's Day I hope you're all feeling well out there and not too rough around the edges. I myself don't drink. I used to quite a bit, but I don't anymore. Thinking maybe one day I might share that story about myself. I'm leaving a little bit of paint in here because I bought these adorable mini canvases that are magnets on the back and I have been using my leftover paint and pouring them on there and they are adorable. I'm gonna show you guys a video and if I have enough paint left over from this, I will do a quick little magnet and show you guys that. So you can see I'm just adding a little bit of silicone as I go. I have my pre-made white in my condiment model here. This is titanium white mixed with my pouring medium and water. Now I'm just going to add a little bit of white because I'm concerned I didn't make quite enough paint there. Oh, it feels so good to be painting. It has been a few days since I've been in here. My brother actually stayed in my studio on an air mattress, so that was lovely. I will take a moment right now to share. If you haven't checked out my Facebook group yet, please check it out. Go to Facebook, type in Acrylic Pouring and Fluid Painting. That is the name of the group. It's a small group right now. We have an array of artists. Some are intermediate. Some are newbies sharing their stuff, asking questions. It's a really nice, positive, small group. And I do have a Patreon page too if you'd like to support my channel, if you find my pouring medium useful. I know a lot of people have tried it and said that they love it, and I'm so glad you guys like it. If you want to help me out so I can keep making these videos and make more pouring medium, I do have a Patreon account. I'll put the um, address right here on the screen and also the link is down in the description if you'd like to check that out. I will have special incentives for my patrons. I'm getting ready to release some tank tops and t-shirts. So I do sell a lot of my tank tops and t-shirts and hoodies and I'm getting ready to release the designs for this season. And so my patrons will get special discounts on that kind of stuff. Um, on artwork, etc. So please, if you are able, check out my Patreon page. And I'm just going to lift this straight off. I torch it just a little before I tilt it. 
I'm running really low on butane, so this poor torch is like struggling. Look at my glove, what? I am gonna actually get my heat gun out and touch it with my heat gun since my butane is so low. And we'll see if my heat gun uh, gets any cells. Some are already popping up here on their own. I find when I use that heat gun too, I get um, these cells that pop up later. You know, you'll come over with your heat gun and not necessarily see them happen right away. And as I'll watch my video and I watch it back and I see the um, paint moving, you can really see those cells pop up gradually. I am just making a mess. My paper towel rolls half green now. Let's see, what other questions can I answer? I've had a lot of people asking about what I use to finish my paintings, if I seal them at all. In the beginning, I really didn't. I thought um, this is the way they turned out. Um, I didn't know if sealing them would change the way the painting looked. So I was a little hesitant and really I was uneducated. I didn't know what I should be using. I have played with resin before. I wanted resin to be an option, but I find, and I've heard other artists say, resin and canvas don't really mix. Um, the resin is very heavy and can sink down into the canvas and you don't get a nice level resin finish that way, which I have found to be true. I've seen it do that on canvas. So I have found a spray varnish, a couple different ones that I have been using, and I will show that in another video on dry paintings. And if you uh, come over to the Facebook group, we talk about a lot different varnishes and finishes that we like to use on our paintings. So I think this one is looking really cool. I know I kind of moved it around a lot and I pushed a lot of that paint off but I really like how it is looking. I'm just coming around here, cleaning all my paint off. Okay, another question I get to is about my pouring medium. I have a lot of people watching the pouring medium videos, a lot of people trying out my pouring medium and asking why I put certain things in, why I don't just use straight up Floetrol. And the answer to that is I have used just straight up Floetrol. And I have used just straight up Liquitex pouring medium. And they're both lovely and they make the colors look great. And when you initially pour your painting and it's wet, it looks amazing. But what was happening is then I would go to bed and I'd come down the next morning and I'd have a completely different painting. Um, the, painting was, the paint was still moving all over the place even after I had set it down. Um, those pouring flow mediums were just having my paint move all over the place. And so I started watching a ton of YouTube videos like I know a lot of you out there are doing. And um, I saw a couple other artists making their own pouring medium and I thought, nah, I I'm not like a homemade kind of gal. It's not for me. But I watched one woman using just glue wall and water and I thought, man, that's gotta be really inexpensive because I knew how much I was spending on pouring medium and it was a lot. Um, so I bought some glue all and I drink spring water. So I use my spring water and I got really good results, but I still wasn't getting that great of cells. And I knew that people using Floetrol were getting awesome cells. 
So what I did next was I incorporated the flow trawl into my pouring medium. But then what was happening was the pouring medium was almost getting so thick that I was having to add so much water that I was getting crazing. So then what I did was I added a little bit of a flow aid, which is designed for flow paintings, but it's slippery like water, but it's not water. And so you don't get the cracking and the crazing. And so now what did that create? It created this medium where I have the glue that I say essentially keeps my painting together. So as you see this here right now, this is how it'll look in the morning dry. These cells won't be all over here, different shapes. It won't be one big mud puddle. The glue I find keeps my painting together. The Floetrol helps me and aid with that silicone to get these awesome cells. The Floaid helps me get a nice liquid here, let me show you how nice and runny this is. This is a big batch that I made in this cup. And I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's just flowing right off my stick. It's just beautiful. And that is due to the flow aid. People have asked me, I can't find flow aid. Can I just use water? You can, I have done that before when I, cause the flow aid is in a very small bottle and sometimes I'll run out and not realize it and I will just sub out water. But in that case, then when you're going in and adding your water later, you have to be very light handed with that because again, too much water is gonna thin out your paints too much. They're gonna craze, they're gonna crack, you're gonna get not nice stuff when they dry. So let me, I'm gonna get the, my camera down and show you this painting close up. All right guys, here it is. I really like the cells in there. I'm gonna to try to turn this light off. I've got a couple of lights on and it's just really bright. I don't know if that helped. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you guys like this video. I hope I was able to give some tips and tricks in there and maybe explain my pouring medium a little bit better. But come check out the Facebook group, Acrylic Pouring and Fluid Painting. Check out my Patreon, patreon.com slash dryer days. And thank you so much guys. And until next time, Keep on pouring. So hold on just a second here. I told you I was gonna do a magnet and I almost forgot. All right, so I'm gonna take a little medicine cup. Just did one little swivel through there. Look at how adorable this thing is. <laughs> oh gosh, I just think it's the cutest thing I've ever seen. Beautiful.